I felt like I was a queen of the universe. Now let's talk all about Ray Garnett, the sensual crystal, the sexual crystal, the passion and loving crystal. Real quick, let's get a close up on her. So what they had told me it was gonna do is increase passion, sensuality, sexuality, uh, confidence. And that is not what this crystal did at first. I'm gonna tell you the motherfucking truth. I got this crystal to like, you know, dive into that deep, like passionate, like Scorpio and Venus energy. That like lustful, that like passionate, that, you know, that butt naked nasty sex. And let me tell you something. This crystal had me not want to give it to nobody at all. I was channeling key. I was like, R-E-S-P-E, you better respect me. I didn't want nobody touching me. I didn't want nobody looking at me. I felt like I was like untouchable. I was like, you are all unworthy. You don't deserve none of this. I was like, how am I supposed to be tapping into my sexuality and like, I don't want nobody. Nobody's good enough. I was like, what the heck is this? But that was the key. You have to be confident in yourself. You have to love yourself. This gave me self-love. This gave me self-confidence. This gave me self-assurance. When you love yourself, we feel good about yourself. When people like feel good about you, and once you, you can recognize that because you see it in yourself. That's how this crystal work. It increased my confidence. It built me up to like be filled up. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I never walked around like I was an HBIC. I felt like all my ideas are great. I felt like everything about me was great. I felt like my body was the best body I ever had in my life. And that enabled me to be loving and warm towards my partner. I was looking at him in awe. I was like, he's so cute. He's so adorable. I did not feel the warm like loving and passionate and like, you know, soft feelings. It wasn't so like, ah. It was more like, hmm, you look cute. Are you washing the dishes today? Oh, that's great. I was more loving, more compassionate after I built myself up. And like, that was, but that was a little scary how like confident I was. I was like, I ain't never had that much confidence in like one little like spurt. I felt like I was a queen of the universe. Like that's how it made me feel. But then, it mellowed out after I built myself up, after I like let it like do what it had to do. It had to shoot me up and like inject me with confidence, inject me with self-worth. I needed that. And I'm gonna use this crystal probably about twice a month because I do need like a little quick little, hey, hey, pick me up, quick little tap on the shoulder like, hey, you that, you like nice. You that bitch, you look good. Girl, you look good. Girl, you look great. Girl, you was doing great in this world. Like, I've been needing that little, you know, pick me up. And I love that crystal for that. You need to pick me up, Red Garnet is your girl. And I hope you guys enjoyed that excerpt. So let's go ahead and like get a glimpse of what we're gonna talk about next week. I got this little tarot deck. It's not even a tarot deck. I have a deck of cards. It's also daily crystals. So let's see the crystal that my collective needs. What do we all need to focus on? What do we all need help with? What, we all, what all do we need some healing with? This card's big, I'm not gonna lie to you. We gotta pop out. We need a jade crystal. So let's see what Jade is all about. Be the bigger person. We petty right now. <laughs> we petty petty right now. So for the Jade Crystal, it says, take the high road. You will have the power to choose how to interact with the people in your life. You can either lift each other up or drag each other down. You can be small and give your power away. Ooh, I know I need that one. Or you can be the bigger person and stand strong in your convictions. To elevate your spiritual maturity, be mindful. Respond instead of react. Don't take things personally. Listen without getting defensive. Instead of letting conversations and encounters get to you, brush them off and maintain your composure. This is your power. Sometimes you say more by keeping silent and getting further by remaining still. Ugh. And I like this book. It has other, it has core questions to ask us and it has crystal actions. It says affirm, I show up as my most mature self. Today, I take the high road in all situations. So that tells me that we all kind of going through a situation where like people are trying us, testing us. We want to let people know that we really with the shits. I really could like, you know, make you feel so shitty about your life right now, but I don't gotta do that. I can really tell how trash you are at everything that you do, but I'm not gonna do that. But let's go see how I really, really feel. That's what they say. You know how to do these videos. That's what they say to me. Is that the actual truth? Let's see. So anyway, I'll be going to the crystal shop, getting a jade crystal, seeing how it goes for like a week, and I'll come back and give my report. So I will see y'all in the next video.